And welcome to Brewman Rhapsody. We are here at the Suzuki Demo Day at Kevin Powell Power Sports in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Lots of bikes, lots of bikes. Let's see what we can ride today. Let's get on with it. If you're new to Brewman though, hit a, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. We put out content every week and your support would mean a lot. So we're going to start off the ride with this. This is a 2024 Suzuki GSX S1000 GX Plus. The latest addition to the S1000 lineup from Suzuki. Now this is a rugged looking bike, but this is not off-roading. This is for on-road touring only. And this is the most electronically advanced Suzuki right now. It's got electronic Showa suspension. You got rider aids, uh, lean sensing ABS, lean sensing traction control. And also um, they have a term for the uh, cruise control where you can shift gears without turning off cruise control okay. yeah it's got preloads and all of that good stuff weighs 500 odd pounds and yeah, this has a 25 degree rake angle what's the rake angle you ask drop perpendicular from the string mount for the fork tube that's your rake angle shorter the rake angle more nimble the bike is and larger the rake angle the more stable it is at higher speeds higher speeds and such it comes with saddlebags with about 27 gallons of storage space that's a lot and let's take a look at the front I am digging this new look from Suzuki, the two lights, you got DRLs on the side, turn signals, a oh, little windshield, and it, this has a 1000cc or a 999cc inline 4, and it's also got quick shifter. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. And the seat height for this is a 33 inch seat height. So it's going to be a little bit of a tall bike, but most of these bikes in this category are. Love the paint as well, paint scheme that matte green, very cool. Oh, and another cool thing about this bike, this is the first one available in the US that they have on the Suzuki demo truck back there. So if you want to ride one of these, look up the Suzuki demo uh, tour and go to the dealership nearest to you. For handlebar controls, when you're right inside, you have the kill switch and that easy uh, start. So you just press it once and let it go and it'll start. You don't have to hold the starter in. Hazards, cruise control. And then on your left hand side, you have the passing lights, high beam. And this is to play with the menu option cruise control settings here, uh, turn signals and horn. No keyless ignition and that's your electronic suspension by Showa. No keyless ignition, this has the old school, I call it the old school key. Yeah, and a beautiful dash with a power outlet on the side. Let's start her up, see what she looks like. Oh, nice. The warning lights all over, the Suzuki logo. Nice little screen here. And you get a beautiful display here, tachometer, speedometer, fuel gauge your riding modes and levels of traction control and your settings suspension settings whatnot you can play around with all of those let's look at the bike you guys know what time it is it's ride o'clock let's go if you're new to bro man give us a like and hit that subscribe button we put out content every week and your support would mean a lot now this is going to be a tall bike so ugh. hmm not bad, I'm on the balls of my feet. <laughs> Let's go. And this is an easy start. Say so put it in the start position and uh, just press it once. It starts. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, let's play with the modes. We're gonna start off in C mode. We'll leave the suspension in auto, not mess with it too much. Ooh, it's a nice route that these guys are taking us on. So if you guys are ever looking to do a demo ride, it's really easy. You show up, you register, they take a copy of your license, you sign a waiver, you sign up for the slots and the bikes you bikes you want to do. Uh, and I think they have a two bikes per person limit, so pick your two carefully. <laughs> and the cool thing about this bike, this is the first one in the US. Yeah, so and they got it on the demo too so they can show people and i'm so glad i'm getting to ride one of these <laughs> and this is an inline four so take a listen to the sound yeah oh boy <laughs> uh, it's a it's an engine that's sourced from the the gfxr so the gxxr 1000 so it should be pretty potent it's a gorgeous day today here in Winston-Salem. Uh, it was a little cold in the morning, but now it's nice. 60 degrees, nice and sunny. Cannot complain. Oh man, this is a pretty decent, decent bike, man. It's on the taller side. I can almost flat foot it, but not quite. 
almost but not quite story of my life <laughs> almost but not quite <laughs> yes I got jokes I got jokes man I got jokes it's a pretty big group today uh, yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's ten of us cool. and since we're stopped it's a good time to check these mirrors out man look at these mirrors man they're huge and you can see so much out of them oh this is very nice this is a very very nice so, I mean this dash and the cockpit view on the dash it looks so cool since we stopped at another red light might as well right <laughs> uh, I love the look of this dash man beautiful contrast good information and the stuff that you need right there then and there you don't have to play around and dig through 10 menus to get there I quite like it man I quite like it so let's jump into the first impressions of this motorcycle well first of all I'm sitting up very upright it's a touring bike so of course uh, you're, I'm sitting up super upright the seat is quite comfortable man and my legs are not bent weirdly I'm um, the seating position is really cool the handlebars you don't have to reach out for the handlebars they're just right there and yeah <laughs> I like it I like the seating position man and you feel like you're sitting up really uh, really high and look those guys are on sports bikes so you're sitting up taller than them <laughs> All right, so wind protection the wind protection is actually not too bad I'm not getting any wind on my legs or my knees and this little windshield here is blocking most of the wind till here uh, I'm getting some in my head and then on my shoulders because there's nothing on the side but it's not bad and the temps being in the 60s today yeah this is nice this is a very nice <laughs> how's the balance of the bike okay yeah boy ah pretty well balanced man pretty well balanced <laughs> oh yeah I'm liking this I'm liking this Suzuki good job yeah. and that sound that egg engine makes mmm it's that inline four man the, every engine has a distinct note and a distinct tone to it you know me I love my twins um, but the inline four has a has a very distinct sound and it has a very special place in my heart I used to ride uh, my first bike was a Yamaha R6 and then I had an R1 for a while so inline fours yeah they have a special place in my heart too <laughs> I like the sound man mm -mm -mm. I like his backpack <laughs> I like his backpack I want something like that <laughs> let's check out the quick shifter no clutch no hands easy up shifts yeah very seamless the easy peasy <laughs> and it's supposed to have the auto blip as well so let's try it down shifting yep pretty seamless pretty seamless man pretty pretty seamless so the thing about quick shifters is you don't have to use them um, unless you're trying to go into neutral or get out of neutral other than that you should be fine all right let's change our riding modes can we change modes on the fly I think we should be able to we changed the modes and gotten into B and this big uh, trucks got in my way so, but that's okay <laughs> oh, let's get out of this it's too much smoke <laughs> too much exhaust smoke yeah all right so the B? throttle response in B mode is much more uh, urgent than the one in C mode so C mode think of C mode as your wet mode where all of the systems are at their highest setting so they're so that you don't do something stupid and get into trouble uh, and B mode is like in between A would be your sport mode but B mode oh yeah kind of livens this bike up a little bit <laughs> yeah I like it I like it I like it I like it a lot <laughs> oh yes B mode is most definitely fun <laughs> let's see how this bike likes corners yeah I got separated from my crew so 
we got to play catch up. <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put it in A mode. That's your sport mode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A mode is where the throttle's like, yeah, let's go. Let's go, fam. Let's go. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> So this bike puts out about 150 horses and about 70 odd foot pound of torque, I think. And wow, in A mode, it's crazy. B mode's a little less crazier and C is very quiet, but A mode, dang, this thing just loves to rev and ride. And this is a nice corner. Let's see if it likes it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it loves these corners too. <laughs> the electronic suspension. Yeah, boy. Oh my God, this has so much power. I love it. I am loving this bike, man. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine the stupid grin that you're going to have on your face after riding this? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Now I don't know how much of that, uh, or uh, how much of that's gonna change with uh, having a passenger and and luggage and whatnot, but I don't think it's changed that much the handling dynamics. But it's awesome, man. All right, so let's answer our questions. Is this a good bike for commuting? Yeah, absolutely. If you get the saddlebags, you have storage space, and if you don't get the saddlebags, well, you can carry a backpack very easily. You're gonna commute to work with a stupid grin on your face because you'll be doing this. <laughs> now, is this a good bike for touring? Well, this is a sport touring bike. So I'm assuming I'm assuming this is gonna be a great bike for touring. I mean, the seating position is quite comfortable. You're sitting upright. It's gonna have luggage space, storage space. You can fit a helmet in the saddlebags. Wind protection is pretty decent. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have that adjustable windshield and stuff that BMWs has. But again, you're not going to pay as much as BMWs either. So you're going to pay. So, you know, that's the trade-off. I think it's going to be a pretty decent touring bike. Is this a good bike for beginners? Yeah, no. No, no, no. This is not a good bike for beginners. Uh, it's got a good amount of power. Although 150 might not seem like a lot. It's, it's a very good amount of power for anybody <laughs> uh, but for beginners most definitely this is going to be a lot so no beginners stay away <laughs> i am liking this bike man yeah suzuki y'all have done a good job with this bike so in conclusion this is like the sport touring motorcycle from uh, suzuki with all the bells and whistles and electronic rider aids you have lean sensing abs lean sensing traction control uh, electronic suspension and a, a quick shifter preloads and everything so, and so this is gonna be a bike that you could really tour on this is something you could have a lot of stupid fun with carving up the back roads and stuff even if you take highway uh, state highways and back roads you're gonna have a blast and I think this, I think this bike costs what less than 20, 000, 18 thousand something so you're you're gonna be paying ten thousand less than any comparable uh, European bikes you know yeah now with the European brands you get a little more features and stuff like this does not have your adaptive cruise no electronic uh, windshield and things like that and it's a little down on the power compared to those guys uh, like the K bikes or the Multistrada and things like that but you're still gonna get a really good bike a really solid bike that's gonna put a stupid 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 grin on your face if you're thinking about the S1000 GX Plus, well, head on down to your closest Suzuki dealership and check it out for yourself. Or right now, uh, look up the Suzuki demo ride or the demo tour and see if they're in a city close to you. If they're coming to a city close to you, go check them out there because this bike is apparently the first one. The first one, there's two actually, the first two in the US that's available on these demo rides. So if you want to go out and check those out, uh, do it and keep in, and one thing to keep in mind though as is that this bike is on the taller side so 33 in seat height yeah that's just something to keep in mind that this is on the taller side but this is this bike's a blast to ride <laughs> and look we are back 
Well guys, thanks for watching. Keep your knees in the breeze and I'll see you soon. Bro out!